Hi, my name is Eric Swanson. I'm the author of the book Closet. If you want to see the cover, you can look at my website, ericjohnswanson.com. And today, as you can tell, it's snowing out. And it just reminds me of how snow is like a sign of a new beginning. And in my novel, I believe I talk about new beginnings. And some beginnings can be bad, and some beginnings can be good. And uh, so, like in my novel, Derek is struggling with new beginnings in, in a way, beginnings in his, his marriage, beginnings with having a, a mentally disabled son. And so, beginnings can have different ways of how we perceive them. Sometimes the same beginning from one person can be the devastating, while the the same of a different person has that beginning. It can be a sign of maybe not so much of a people don't always perceive things uh, as being great when they when it comes upon them. For some people, when they have difficulties in life, they. We perceive them differently. Some people perceive them as totally devastating and they break. And other people, they persevere. And then they'll see great things come out of them. And that's how it happens to Derek. He doesn't really see the new beginnings of his life as being great things. He sees them as being challenges, as being trials, as things that are going to break him and he doesn't see them of ways of how God is going to use him in his life to bring about a greater good and he struggles with that he struggles with how these beginnings are going to help him out in life how they're going to be for his good especially with him not having a job after he goes through school and I think that's all the same for a lot of us. We go through these beginnings. We have dreams and aspirations. And for some reason, things don't happen the way we want them to happen. And they break us. And we get devastated. And all those dreams that we've had in life come to a crashing halt. We don't get married at a certain age. Or we don't get that job like we want, wanted to have at one time and we have to settle for something less than what we wanted in life. Some of us have to live with our parents for a while to make ends meet. There's a lot of things that happen and when that happens uh, people misunderstand us. They, they call us failures, they call us losers, I know that has happened in my own life when things have been crashing down on me when I didn't get the job I wanted to get or uh, being single for so long that gets kind of wearisome at times but it also it's also been a great blessing so I won't knock that at all uh, also just not having the job I always wanted but then I believe all those things have worked for my good uh, I don't see the end of it right now at times I mean I did write a book and that's been a good thing uh, I've also written a second book that I'm looking to get published looking for a publisher for that one also I'm on my uh, third book so I'm working, trying to do a non-fiction one this time. And then hopefully to work on my third book in my fiction series. But all that to say is that when I set out in life, I didn't really see myself as being a writer. But 
now that I'm trying to make it as a writer, I see the, the great hand of God upon it and how these beginnings are working out for my good. I have yet to see if what I'm doing now will be a, make a profit or not. And I'm doing a lot in the way of promotion and for now I haven't seen a positive outcome from it. But all that to say is that when we go through new beginnings in life, it comes down to our attitude, it comes down to our perspective on things, it comes down to how we view God. If we view God as being in control, or if we see ourselves as the ones that has to be in control. And what if we see as God as being the one in control? It makes what we go through that much easier, knowing that there's going to be some positive outcome for what we go through. Maybe, for I, I guess from my own experience, that outcome doesn't always happen the way we, the way, and the time that we want it to happen. But it does happen eventually. And sometimes our life doesn't always go the way we want, we want it to go. But I believe when it's all said and done, it's the exact way we want it to happen. And that's how I wrote my book, my first book at least. So it is a series, of course. And so my first book kind of hangs a little bit. And then it picks up on my second one. And then it's going to pick up in a third book. All that to say is that when we go through beginnings, we need to let God work His way and things will be for our good. Just as what it is in my novel. So I encourage you to check out my website, ericjohnswanson.com. It's available on Barnes & Noble on Amazon. You can read it on the Nook and Kindle. I'm hoping to get it on the iPad soon. So, thanks.